What's up guys, it's James here, and in today's video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on to Airbnb here, I'm gonna find a listing, and I'm gonna basically do just a full breakdown of the listing so that you can see my thoughts in real time. I thought this would be a cool concept for a video. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want more of these, please let me know. Uh, if you want me to review and break down your listing, then just comment below with a link to your listing. And I'd love to do that in another video. I think this could be a really cool series that I could do where I just kind of break down and share my thoughts on ways that you can improve a listing and just kind of give all my impressions on a listing overall. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, then give the video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And if you want me to break down your listing, then just comment below with a link to your listing and I'll, I'll take a look and I could actually feature it in another video. Um, and then you'll get a nice listing breakdown. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and jump on here to, uh, we'll check out Airbnb. Now, this listing breakdown is gonna be a little bit different than a what I consider a normal breakdown would probably be because as you can see here on the Airbnb homepage, we're you know in the midst of everything going on, all the craziness. Um, there's a little bit of a different uh, a different tone to Airbnb, where they're primarily focusing on longer term stays. They've got online experiences for Airbnb experiences, which I found quite cool. And then you can get stays for frontline workers. Um, and so what I'm going to do is actually review a a longer term stay because I think that that's likely to be a better listing, a more optimized listing. Um, so I'll be able to give some more high level feedback because I think that the people, my assumption is that the people that are that are, um, that are are focused on longer term monthly stays are the people that are kind of more with it because people that are focusing right now on short term stays, they're just not, in my opinion, uh, the right way to, the right place to be focusing because very few people are booking that type of a stay. So if we just go here, let's go and click on monthly stays. Um, and I'm just gonna look, uh, let me see here. Uh, old Toronto, let's pick somewhere else. So I'm gonna pick a different, a totally different area. I'm just gonna go ahead and look at, um, let's go Montreal. Let's see how Montreal, uh, Montreal, Quebec. Perfect, and let's say that I wanna stay, let's just kinda of give myself more selection here and say I wanna stay for June. All right, so. Right off the bat, we've got, uh, it looks like we've got some pretty, I'm not as familiar with the Montreal prices as I am with Toronto's, but it looks like these ones are relatively well optimized from a pricing standpoint. These first two here, none of them are too outrageous um, by the looks of it. You've got like a two bedroom property for $2,000. That seems like a pretty reasonable price here. Um, you've got a one bedroom here for $2,800. Now that's a nicer property, but I'm thinking that like if I can get a uh, a one bedroom here for two thousand dollars or pay eight hundred fifty dollars more, you know I can get a, a two bedroom here for two thousand like nineteen hundred dollars. This guy seems like he's probably pricing himself out of the market. Um, you know another one bedroom at twenty eight sixty eight. Um, and again, like here's another one bedroom that um, that is in a very similar area where you can spend like less than a thousand dollars more than $1,000 less on that one property. So let's go and look at one of these ones that uh, in at first glance look like they're probably not as optimized from a pricing perspective. And let's just kind of go in here and break them down. So this is an Airbnb Plus, so that's something nice about it. Um, and let's, let's start by looking over the pictures. I always think the pictures are the best thing to break down to start with. Um, if we go back here and look, um, so I'm mainly selecting this one just based on the price and it also looks like a nice listing here I can see actually if I look in the corner there. It looks like okay. I can see it's a plus we've got a super host They've got 4.97 stars. So, you know good chances are this is actually gonna be a pretty a pretty high quality listing here um, As far as the title uh, the title the price and the cover photo are really my my only things that I'm going off of if I'm if I'm a guest and I'm looking and I'm gonna click through the listing so right off the bat the cover photo is nice. It features uh, it features the space quite nicely. I can see like a main living area that looks quite spacious and it looks nice and clean. Um, it's nice, like the colors. I like it personally, just my style. Um, the uh, the price, you know, like I already mentioned, I already kind of talked about that. Elegance on the plateau with interior parking. Uh, it doesn't tell me much because. As someone who is familiar with Montreal, I, I know where Le Plateau is, um, but as someone who isn't maybe familiar with, like who would be traveling to, to Montreal, I would not be familiar with Le Plateau. Like I wouldn't know that area. I wouldn't know what it's close to. It doesn't tell me really that much about the actual location, which they were attempting to do by, um, by including it in the, in the title. 
with interior parking that's nice like I'd, I'd look at what the other amenities are that maybe would be uh, would be desirable if they found that the the guests that book there are very concerned about parking which would make sense because Montreal can be a tough spot, a tough place to find parking, then it's a good thing to feature. As far as featuring the location, I would say, um, like I would, I would more focus on what landmarks that people are visiting that it's close to. Like if a lot of people are going towards Montreal, um, you know, you could say, I'm not sure if this is a walking distance. It looks like it's probably a walking distance to Montreal, but I could, I could be very wrong about that, but just some amenity, some um, some attraction that it's nearby to, that's more gives me more um, more of a reason to click it than Le Plateau because I like as someone traveling to, to Montreal, I probably would not um, really care that it's near Le Plateau. Like I wouldn't really know what that means if that makes sense. So next, I'm going to look at the pictures. So let's just kind of go in here. I suspect that because they are uh, their Airbnb Plus photography, uh, they're going to be quite good. Everything looks pretty good. Yeah, photos wise, um, I think they've done a really good job here. Uh, with Airbnb Pluses, they tend to stand out as having better photography. Now, if for anyone who's looking to improve their own listing, the reason that I say that this is actually really well done is like, um, for example, you've got this bed that is actually photographed, pulled out as a bed. Um, and so I'm not sure how that works with the, the Murphy bed with the TV on the, on the wall here, but you can see like that is the same room. And what most people will do is they'll say that they have a Murphy bed, but they won't take a picture of, of it folded out as an actual bed. So they've done a really good job of that. That's always something that I, I, I always stress to people that you need to do. They've got good, um, good shots that show just kind of the overall aesthetic of the space. They give it kind of some mood setting shots. Um, like this one doesn't tell you a ton more about the space um, when you've already got, uh, let me see here, when you've already got shots like this, but it's just nice to have. It's a nice angle, it's artistic, like it just gives a good overall vibe of the space. You've got this one here that showcases that there is a little office nook there, so that's really good. And then again, You've got those tighter in shots, but then you've also got a zoomed out shot. It might seem kind of redundant if you're just looking at it from a very practical standpoint, but it just is a nice way to really give perspective to the space. It almost feels like I'm kind of walking through it um, without actually being there. This one's again, another really great photo here where I can see, okay, there's actually like some space there. It's not, it's not just like there's a wall right here that ends. There's actually some space over there. There's, it looks like an entranceway. It looks like that's kind of where I walk into the space. Okay, let's move into the kitchen. I would actually have some more shots of the kitchen for sure. Like I would take some individual photos of the different amenities that it has, like this coffee maker over here, looks like an espresso. I would have a close up shot of that um, because that's something that's desirable to people. Um, you know, what kind of stove is this? It doesn't, it's not a gas ridge by the top, by the looks of it, maybe a ceramic stove. I'm not sure, um, but just having some more close up shots of that. If it's got, if they have a nice blender that's somewhere hidden in the kitchen here, I'd take that out, like if they've got a, like a nice high-end blender or something, I'd take that out, take a picture of that set up, just so I kind of understand better what amenities are in the kitchen. Um, I would take a picture of inside the fridge with some water in it, if, if we do stock water in this property, things like that to just kind of better showcase what the listing features. Um, in here, it looks like, so this is bedroom one, um, looks like king bed, memory foam mattress, room darkening shades, air conditioning, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the photos in here. I'd probably give some more photos here just to give some more clarity, honestly, because it looks like this opens up right into the main living space. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like, um, where is it here? Yeah, it's, it looks like this kind of nook over here and then there's a chair and then this is that chair and it looks like that's that nook. So it looks like this just opens right up. Um, I'm not clear on if there's a door there. It doesn't look like it. Um, so I just, I, I personally, as someone booking, I'd want to have a bit more clarity on that. Um, like what, how that space is oriented. It looks like it does, um, uh, just open right up, which might not be the nicest thing. So I'd probably want to just like be really transparent about that. Um, and then yeah, the, the bathroom, I would take some more shots again, like just showing some of the nice, uh, nice amenities in there, um, that you have. Uh, but overall, like the photos they do have are good. Um, I would say it's just lacking. You could have some more photos of that space. The dining room, I like that. Uh, looks like that's you know well photographed. Yeah, this does just open right up to the to the bedroom. So I'd, I'd want to be more transparent about that if this were my listing in the photos. Um, the nook again, really nice uh, study. Um, the exterior, yeah, I would take some more shots of like the neighborhood, just different things like that. Um, uh, different uh, sort of attractions that are nearby. I would take photos of that. 
Um, the patio, I would take definitely some better photos of that. This is pretty like a pretty dirty window there. Um, I would clean that. I would take some more photos out here. I would set this as well. That's one thing I think they really missed the mark on is they didn't really have any mood setting photos here. Like I would set this up with a nice, some nice plates with some scones or, or uh, you know, some coffee out there, a magazine. Same thing in here, like have some fresh fruit, things like that to really kind of set the mood. Um, those are some things that I would look to improve. Um, overall, the photography is good, but I think there's definitely room for improvement. And a lot of people assume that if they have an Airbnb photographer come in that they're going to do as good of a job as possible. But in my experience, that's not necessarily true. I think that, um, you can, that you can definitely improve upon the photography that Airbnb provides you with. Um, and if you take some additional photos, it can, it can definitely really help the listing out. Um, so what have we got? Step out onto the balcony and soak up the charm of the neighborhood. Relax in the serene, modern interiors. Unwind in the light-drenched, boutique-style apartment featuring chic furnishings and decor, open-plan layout, and views of the bustling neighborhood. Uh, enjoy the convenience of free underground parking off-premises. Um, location one month minimum. Yeah, so enjoy the convenience of free underground parking off premises. Um, I'd want a bit more clarity on what that means. Like how far off premises is this free underground parking? I'd want more clarity on that. So let's look. Um, we've got um, hearing aid plus feature. We've got more photos, more of the same. We've got the amenities listed here. That's really nice. That's a nice feature of the of the plus listings is that they just lay out exactly what the amenities are in a nice, easy to find space. If you're not an Airbnb plus listing, you really want to do something similar to this in your listing description, where you just have an amenities section, an amenities heading, and you just list off all the all the amenities. And then you really want to organize. I recommend organizing into um, into the different uh, the different spaces, like the different rooms, like. Kitchen has this amen these amenities. The living space has these amenities. The dining room has these amenities. You know, the bathroom has these amenities and break it down that way too. So you can have sort of an overall section at the top, but then break down each each section. So it's just super easy to navigate. If I'm trying to think, if I'm trying to figure out, okay, like, you know, uh, what size is the bed in the master bedroom? I'm gonna go to the master bedroom heading and I'm gonna see king size bed. Perfect, really easy to find. I don't have to read through paragraphs of description to find it, right? Um, accessibility location yeah the description leaves it wanting more because that's one of the biggest things that i uh, that i always say to people is you want to make sure that your listing and the description everything that it answers every potential question a guest could have because if i'm going to book this place there's still some questions on my mind now Maybe I'd be ready to book this place without having those questions answered and they wouldn't be deal breakers for me, but there's a decent chance that they actually would be deal breakers for me, um, some of them. And so I want them to be answered in the listing so that I can just go, okay, awesome. I wanna book this place now because all the, the questions that would have been deal breakers are answered for me. Um, so for example, like one of those is how far away is the underground parking off premise? Like how far that is, is actually pretty important to me. If it's like five blocks away, that's a lot different than if it's like next door to where I am. Um, I'm not super sure about the area. So if I could have more detail about what is, uh, like if I read this location, the neighborhood is a foodie haven. Um, uh, this, this where an international, this is where an international coffee chain, see again, you just want to clean that up, is where an international coffee chain failed and made way for the local pizza parlor run by two local women. Um, I wouldn't use that to tell me that an international coffee chain failed. Um, I don't think that's really that relevant. Residents cherish Parc Loyer uh, with its swimming pool, pardon my accent, uh, with its swimming pool, uh, sports grounds, and off-leash dog park. Um, so that's nice, but like if I'm if I'm staying in a place like this with these kind of amenities, a nice listing like that, I'm probably not gonna go to a local like community swimming pool. Um, I'm probably not gonna be playing much sports when I'm there realistically. Like I would imagine most guests are not going to be. Um, very few get, guests are gonna bring their dogs. I don't know if this place is dog friendly, um, but like that stuff was largely irrelevant. I would talk more about what it's close to, like. Um, that I would that would actually be applicable to a wide array of guests that are coming by. Um, so like how uh, what shops are nearby? Give me more information about that. Um, like is it how close is it of a walk to or or a drive or whatever to get to some of the popular attractions like Montreal, like um, like I know uh, La Ronde, things like that. Um, think reasons I might just be coming in if there's an event coming into town um, like uh, like F1 or something like that. I'd probably feature that now, not net right now, but you know, uh, in that season, I would feature that. Like those are just some advice that I have for listings in general. 
Um, and yeah, right now I would, I would specifically be focusing on this, uh, with everything going on in the world, I'd focus on, like I would highlight how well the space is cleaned, how it's maintained, that kind of thing. Um, I would talk about, um, uh, I would talk about, uh, you know, different, uh, you know, if it's got good high speed internet, I would really highlight the study. I would highlight the fact that it's got a good, a good space to work. Hey, you know, maybe move in a desk so they have more space to work. Um, because that's why someone might be booking right now. They may be booking because they want a place to work uh, because a lot of people are working from home right now. Also, if we look down here in the reviews, like there's 73 of them. Let me see if I can go into a bunch of them. This is a gold mine. Like this is where you can really see what you wanna highlight in your, uh, in your description because you'll see what people talk about more, like the most often, what comes up again and again and again. So you can see it was spotless and, and location was excellent. You're definitely in the best part of Montreal minutes from Parc Laurier, close to the grocery store, the SAQ, SAQ uh, which for anyone that doesn't know, that's like the, the liquor store. Um, so many cafes, great restaurants and more. So again, like these are some of the things that I would, okay, let's see if they come up again. Um, fantastic location, relaxed luxury space, great host. What's great about the location? That's what we want, really wanna find out. Um, birthday trip and they help set up fun taste surprise for our arrival when we requested a later checkout. Blah, 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 they're very accommodating. Um, amazing, okay. And then we're gonna find, okay. I wanna know why people, like what people love about it, specifically about the location. I would reach out to these guests that are saying, location was great. Like Mario, what did you find was so great about the location? That's what I wanna know, because I wanna feature that in the listing. Um, on the plateau, um, yeah, like things that, that's what I wanna know. That's, that's where I would kind of dig. It looks like restaurants, cafes, grocery store, drugstore, liquor store, all within less than a block. That's, it came up again. So again, like featuring that in the listing, like not just having it say near it, like in Le Plateau, like putting, okay, right, like right near restaurants, cafes, grocery store, like that kind of thing, featuring that. And again, I, I dig and get some more feedback and really go through this in detail to figure out exactly what it is that people love about the location. And that's what I would feature. So your reviews are a gold mine. Um, you just learn, you can learn so much from them about why guests love your space, why they booked it, that kind of thing. And also just, just asking those questions to your, uh, to your guests that can be really, really valuable. Um, yeah. And then, uh, the rest of this, I'm not going to go, go through in too, too much detail overall. It's a good listing for sure. Um, I think there's definitely a few little spots for some minor improvements, but overall a good listing. So yeah, if I'm, I'd love to do some more of these. If you found this valuable, let me know. Like, let me know your thoughts. I know this is a new format for the video uh, that I haven't done before. So if you found this valuable, if you liked it, if you want more of it, then please just let me know in the comments below. Um, also, you can show me that you like it by just giving it a thumbs up. Like this video, it helps me out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. So if you could do that, take a quick second, and just click that like button. It would mean a lot to me. Um, if you're new to the channel, then consider subscribing. I post two new videos every single week at least. Um, so, and they're all folks around Airbnb hosting, Airbnb management, um, and just helping people to improve their performance on Airbnb overall and start businesses managing properties on Airbnb. So if that's something that you think is interesting, then just click the subscribe button and you can subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you want me to review your listing, like I mentioned, if you like this format, you like this detailed kind of breakdown video, and you want me to do one on your on your listing specifically, then just comment below with a link in the description, uh, a link to your listing where I can check it out, and I will have a look. And then uh, if it makes sense, and I'll and people want more of this, and people this is something that, a format that people like to see, then I might just feature one of your listings in uh, in the next video. So thanks again for watching, and I will see everyone in the next video.